this will be the best ways to execute the inverse of the best NA perm. So this is the best NA perm, right? But this is an alternative and it's not bad. It might be useful for grip and run fast with something like this. But people often don't execute it the best way, even though it's so popular. So the first way I'm about to show is you do thumb and then push. This is how Terry does it. And then you here you do middle and then flick like that. So push here and then double flick. And it will look something like that. And now the second way, how I would do it is left index and then pinch. And here you can just not double flick and it works fine as well. This is the this is the execution I prefer actually. It's like in T-Perm, I prefer just not double flicking and it's somehow faster. Um, so again, I find it faster to just do that. Not even gonna bother finding it again, honestly. Yeah, it's sub one frame counted, but not sub one on slash map, which is a shame. But you get the points. And now the last one, it's probably the objectively optimal way. However, just like the T perm, I can't do it as fast. So basically, you do left index, pinch, and here the end is the same. This is why it's not worth it. So yeah, thanks for watching. You should try all three of those out and see which one works best for you. But actually, just doing the RFU prime alg is probably the way to go. However, if for some reason you don't like it, you don't really have to force yourself to get good at it. And instead, instead you can just, what am I doing? Instead you can just try out the inverse and it's almost just as good. So yeah, thanks for watching.